welcome back my good people and it's good to see you back in this channel in today's video we are going to learn about lymphogranuloma veneram lgv 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 is a, a sexually transmitted a disease or infection and normally is affecting our lymph node or lymphatic system i'd made a video about chlamydia trachomatis into details and if you have not watched that video for you to understand uh, this particular topic lgv you must watch the video of chlamydia trachomatis that appears up here or even in the description below so that you can be able to understand this lgv very well lymphogranuloma veneram is um, a disease that are, is caused by strains uh, unique strains of uh, chlamydia trachomatis and these unique strains are strain L1, strain L2 and strain L3 play a very very important role of uh, uh, this particular LGV and as, as I have mentioned earlier that uh, LGV is uh, an STI and uh, it is more prone in uh, uh, those who normally practice unprotected coitus men, sexing men uh, those who are sharing uh, sex toys, those who are uh, putting on a condom or sex toys and even sharing the sex toy, they are prone to get uh, uh, this lymphogranuloma uh, veneram. And uh, when uh, they do this, this normally uh, affect the lymph nodes. The lymph nodes are normally swollen and very, very painful. And even there are some ulcerations, ulcers on the pineal area or the vaginal area and uh, these lymph nodes uh, can even swell and burst and form pus particularly when they affect the anal area or the anus so we must be very very vigilant that uh, those who are in the category of high risk group are men sexy men and even those who practice uh, unprotected sex uh, medially or those who normally share uh, sex to all those who normally involve in group sex group sex you come together and you have a group sex which is unprotected and this also can even pose a major risk of getting other STIs like HIV uh, gonorrhea and even syphilis so um, when a patient presents uh, the way I've mentioned with ulcers and uh, even the lymph nodes that are swollen and tender or when uh, pain while uh, straining on stool even pass while passing stool or even pass oozing from the anus then uh, we should be able to investigate and find out whether the cause is due to lymphogranuloma veneram of course in the lab we do what we call anal swab and uh, do what we call polymerase chain reaction that is PCR or a test which is so specific to uh, chlamydia trachomatis that I've mentioned earlier in the last video about uh, nucleic uh, acid amplification test. So these ones will also always uh, uh, tell us the real diagnosis of this particular organism. Of course, management is so simple and very easy and um, we will be able to put uh, start a therapy on doxycycline, doxycycline and this doxycycline you will take it for three weeks three weeks i talked about doxycycline in two details uh, if you want to know about more if you want to know more about doxy uh, just click the link that appears up here or go to the description and click the link about doxycycline so this drug uh, i talked about the precautions and the side effects and uh, drug interaction about uh, this particular drug that comes into a couplet of 10 that is doxycycline into details about the video and mentioned so you will be able to take this drug twice in a day for the next 21 days that is three weeks uh, of course um, if you are not able to use this or you are if you are allergic to doxycycline uh, or maybe you are pregnant uh, then uh, uh, there are some alternatives that we can use uh, depending on your gestation uh, <coughs> I have another one here that is um, erythromycin. Erythromycin also, you will be able to take uh, this one 
500 milligrams. This this one is coming into a, two, a pack of 250 milligrams. So 500 milligrams uh, four times in a day for the next three weeks. For the next three weeks. Uh, I do not have the last drug that is called uh, uh, azithromycin that you will take one gram daily uh, for the next uh, three weeks. But remember that uh, treatment, sorry, treatment with um, azithromycin is uh, not yet proved uh, that it cures uh, uh, LGV strains, uh, the lymphogranuloma venerum, uh, chlamydia trachomatis strains uh, successfully. So we must do a uh, NAT test, nuclear, nucleic acid amplification test, after completing uh, this uh, particular drug, the uh, azithromycin, so that we can confirm that uh, uh, this particular uh, disease is eradicated. So um, we must be very, very vigilant in terms of now prevention of this particular uh, disease. One way we should be able to prevent LGV, uh, not that I said it is sexually transmitted. Sexually transmitted. Your personal life in terms of partners, your sexual partners, those who normally have multiple sexual partners are key candidates of this particular uh, disease or even STS in general. So make sure that you have one sexual partner and if it is feasible, you should be able to use um, protection, that is uh, use of uh, condom. Another way that we should be able uh, to prevent this, let's try to avoid uh, other forms of coitus like uh, anal sex, oral sex, or even uh, fingering. Uh, there are some individuals normally finger and they leak and they they can even touch the eyes mistakenly uh not that i talked about uh, uh chlamydia trachomatis as one of the causes of blindness particularly when it invades your eye so when you use your finger and insert it into your vagina or play with the penis and the organism stuck into your uh, fingers and then mistakenly uh it invades or you touch your eye, it can invade and cause this uh, particular problem. So not that uh, uh, lymphogranuloma venera uh, affects your lymph nodes. Your lymph nodes can swell, can burst. The anal area can have a pass and this may be, uh, you may develop difficulty in passing stool. So if you love this channel, if you like, like what we are doing in this channel, kindly click the notification bell, rate and subscribe, turn it on for more videos that we post. Otherwise, thank you so much and see you in the next video. Muchas gracias.